Hello everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you on this very, very special occasion because this year, Christmas, I think is more, even more special than it was in, um, in the years up until now uh, because it's about sharing, about being together, about being safe and of course remembering all the good time as well as creating new beautiful times together. And because, you know, a friend of mine told me at one point that I can turn any lesson into a PSHE lesson, um, I plan today uh, to invite you to play a game together with your families around Christmas time. So you can play it on any day you wish, uh, it doesn't matter, morning, uh, noon, evening, it's, uh, you can play indoors or outdoors and you need some specific things for the game. Uh, first of all, you need something that might look like a jar, okay? So for instance, I used a vase, okay? Jar enough, I would say. So you can use a kitchen jar or a vase or a transparent bowl. Okay, I decorated with some Christmas lights, so if you feel that this is something that you would do, please do this. So first ingredient, the transparent container. Okay, second ingredient, some slips of paper. I took the liberty of cutting some uh, Christmassy light paper. So we've got white, we've got green, and we've got red. Of course, if you've got other preferences, uh, whatever works for you is just fine. And I brought some special uh, Christmas writing utensils. So I've got my reindeer writing pencil, I've got a very sound making Christmas tree and a sequin Christmas tree. And of course I'm wearing sequins because I want to get in the Christmas spirit as much as possible. I've got lights all around me so uh, because this is something that I like to do around Christmas. If you like to do the same thing, please be my guest. Now what's the game about, you ask me? Well this game, do you think it's a, it's a happiness game? What do you think? No, it's, it's not a happiness game. No, it's not a game about happiness. Do you think it's a game about sadness? No, for sure not. About anger? Is it an angry game? Nope, it's not. Is it a frightful game? A game about fear? No, it's a game about a complex emotion that each of us feels deep inside their hearts. And the name of that, uh, of that emotion is gratefulness. Can you say gratefulness? Gratefulness, ho, ho, ho. Now what is gratefulness? How does it feel like? When do we feel gratefulness? Now, I'm going to give you an example. The other day, I was walking down the street and it's starting snowing so beautifully. And I love winter time. So because I'm born in winter time, I love everything about winter. The cold, the snow, uh, the freezing nose. I love everything, the Christmas lights. And as I was walking down the street, um, I started feeling grateful. I was feeling grateful for the snow and the fact that I was seeing the Christmas lights and it was such a great feeling because I stopped there for a moment and paid attention to something which might seem ordinary, simple, but it made such a difference in the way I felt. And I remember that after I acknowledged all these wonderful things around me, all these simple, wonderful things, I started walking more energetically. And when I got home, I could not not share with my family that feeling. So the game we're playing today is a gratefulness game. What are we grateful for? And it goes like this. After 
having all the ingredients around you. The transparent container, the slips of paper, and the writing utensils. You gather your family around. And each of them, of course, receives a slip of paper and a funky writing utensil. And then you activate your grateful mind like this. Is it on? Let's try it one more time. I know, you know, sometimes great being grateful is not so easy when there are a lot of things happening around you that make you feel sad, angry, or scared. But around Christmas time, it's a wonderful game to play just to remind ourselves of the beautiful things that are around us. Okay, so activate the grateful mind. Okay, and think of one thing that you are grateful for. Okay, it can be as simple as possible, as simple as the snow outside, or uh, you can be grateful for being together with your family. Okay, you can be grateful for. Uh, going someplace with your family, for taking a walk with your family, or making Christmas dinner together. It's important, what I would recommend, is to find something to be grateful for that is not material, okay? So, of course you can be grateful for uh, the presents that you got, or that you are about to receive but also you know if you were to put the presents aside I would be grateful for the fact that somebody thought of making me a present okay that Santa thought of me this year as well out of all years okay and after you get that thought in your mind you can write it down of course if you are a fan of writing and you are confident with writing and so on or you can draw it okay so something that you're grateful for uh, the game goes in rounds okay so in the first round each family member writes what they're grateful for then you fold your gratefulness note and you put it in the container okay then after the first round is done, if you still have some gratefulness in you, you can, you can start a new gratefulness round, okay? And you can think of another, another thing that you can write, okay? Uh, and as we think of things that we're grateful for, you will see that your mind cannot stop of thinking of these things. Uh, of course this is a game to play all year round but it's a good start to play it at Christmas time. Okay, It's a, a game suitable after really difficult weeks. It's a game that you can play when you want to remind yourselves of all the wonderful things that you have in your life and, of course, after you play this game a long time, you will notice that you're smiling more. Your words are kinder when you're talking to the people around you. And your eyes seem to look at things that are meaningful and that fuel you with good energy. So, hoping that you enjoyed my idea of a gratefulness game. I'm wishing you happy holidays together with your loved ones. Kisses from Miss Joanna. Mwah, mwah.